Today on What It's Like, 1958 Buick Special Convertible. But before we get started today talking about this 58 Buick, huge thanks to Street Machinery in Elucid, Ohio. They do street rods and classic cars and specialize in late 50s, early 60s GMs, but often have epic cars outside those parameters. Link in the description. Okay, on to the overview. The 1958 Buick was a standalone year for styling, meaning it was totally different than the 57 and the 59 model years. The 1958 Buick was designed by none other than Harley Earl and his team. The 58 Buick was built on GM's B platform, was used in General Motors from 1926 to 1996. It was originally made for Oldsmobile and Buick, but all five models would go on to use it at some point. General Motors would update the B body platform in 1959 and it would carry on until 1996. It's also worth mentioning that this is the fourth best automotive selling platform in history after the Volkswagen Beetle, Ford Model T, and the Lada Riva. In 1958, Buick featured air-cooled, thinned aluminum front brakes, was previously used on a 1957 Roadmaster 75, but became standard equipment across the board in 1958. Another noteworthy feature Buick offered in 1958 was Air Pose. It was an air suspension unit. Uh, it was a short-lived option, and it was actually a Cadillac system. It was very problematic. The system would leak. It would lose air. Loss of air meant loss of spring. 1958 was also the last year for the Dynaflow name to be used on Buick's automatic transmission. Okay, let's talk about the engine that's powering this beast. It was the 364 Nailhead. It came out in 1957, and it was used in 58. It replaced the 322 Nailhead V8. The 364 was produced from 1957 until 1961. It came uh, with different configurations that you could get, but with the special trim, it came standard with a two-barrel carburetor, produced 250 horsepower. By 1959, the 364 was enlarged to the legendary 401 nailhead design. Okay, getting back to this 1957 Buick Special Convertible. It's worth mentioning that they made four different trim levels as far as convertibles go. Special is at the bottom, Century, Roadmaster, and Limited. The uh, Special started at 3000 $41, which if you adjust for inflation was $29,336.92. They ended up building 5,502 of the special convertible models. Starting at the front here, notice the little squares. Buick claims that there's no less than 160 little tiny squares in the grill there. That's a huge attention to detail. They almost look like cabinet knobs. Just take a look at all the chrome. Like, notice the uh, turn signal, how it jets out there, and it's all thinned out. This is like the height of the Jet Age styling. It's, it looks awesome. Too bad it was like a recession in 1958, so the car market didn't do that great. But they ended up, they sold a, a lot of these in various different trims and options. What do you guys think of the styling? I think this thing is timeless. I mean, you could definitely tell it's from the 50s, like late 50s, but it looks amazing. It says total time capsule. Like I said in uh, previous, this was a one-year only body style. So 1957 isn't anything like it, nor is the 59 model anything like this one. So if you want a 58, you have to get a 58. I don't know if you noticed, but check out that chrome piece that goes up and over top of the headlights. And then it runs down the side of the car, dips down to where the rear wheel well is and then shoots out the back. That's pretty cool. Moving to the back here, um, notice this big, huge chrome bullet-like shape. It was called the uh, spear sweep. Here's a better look at that spear sweep. So beautiful how it works, but it's non-functional. It doesn't have a function other than to set the car apart. But moving back here still, we're gonna come around here and show you these beautiful fins. A lot of chrome on this car. These almost look like Packard Cathedral lights off of like a 55 Packard Caribbean, but more beefed up. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Do you think those look like Packard Caribbean lights? They look like that to me. Okay, now we're gonna get inside this 1958 Buick and take a look at the interior. So just check out these door panels, they're two-toned. Got an armrest here. This is uh, for your vent window. Look how that operates.
This is your uh, door handle to get out. This is the big window. Crank there. Okay, moving on to the dashboard. Check this dashboard out. Look at how unique it looks. The steering wheel looks very unique. I've never seen this kind of setup before with these switches and these knobs. Okay, let's walk through the instrument cluster. At the bottom, you have your speed. At the top, this is would be the top left-hand corner would be temperature, oil pressure. Then to the right of that would be your amp gauge. To the right, still would be your gas gauge with your speedometer on the bottom. So just check out these switches. This is what I meant by, I've never seen anything like these. So you have your defrost or heat control there. The blower motor's right next to it with the um, option of having high or low with off in the center. The one next to it, I'm not 100% sure what that does. So if you put it out in the comment section below, that would be great that they advertise power steering there. It's your drive selectors. Here's, for, here's your lights. I found a switch on the side over here. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. I'm either thinking it's either the antenna button or the mirror switch. Maybe it had a power mirror at one point. I'm not sure. If you know what that button does, in the comment section below. Moving down from the headlight switch, you have your brake release. There's uh, accessory brake and vent. You have your ashtray here. Here's a cigarette lighter. another ashtray this car's got four ashtrays in it check out this interior two-tone black and white 50 50 split here in the uh, front seats as you can see there's an ashtray in the back uh, armrest and there's also an ashtray in the back of this armrest over here making a total of four ashtrays in this car, which is insane. Just check out how this window operates. It doesn't just go straight up. It comes up at an angle, kind of pivots. They just don't do this attention to detail in modern cars. Yeah, they may be safer, but they're just not as appealing to look at in my humble opinion. A lot of engineering went into making that window operate the way it does. So yeah, there's the uh, 1958 Buick, and that's what it was like. Um, I also forgot to mention that 1958 was the last year for the special trim to be offered. Special trim got renamed to Le Sabre in 1959. Um, so there's a fun fact for you. But yeah, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. We just hit 100 subscribers. I'm really excited about that. The channel's growing, and... Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you watching my content. And um, until next time, toodaloo!